There's a fish. First fish of the day. It looks like a crappy. If he'll stay on. There's a fish. Oh man, better crappy. Stay down, buddy. All right, people. Welcome to Cross Country Bank Angler. I am out here today. It is early spring. You know, the birds are singing, the flowers are blooming, and the fish are starting to bite. Today, I am out here at this little pond. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you might recognize it. I fished this place in one of my very first videos. I think it's actually the second video that I uploaded was at this place around this time of year, or maybe a little earlier, actually. It was kind of a chilly day when I was here before. Today, it's around 70 degrees, which is really nice. Kind of cloudy conditions right now, but I've, see, I've seen some blue sky today as well. So, you know, the sun could come out and um, make an appearance here. But I wanted to come back here to this pond. You know, I, I've fished here a handful of times, but not since that uh, video last year have I been here. So I just kind of wanted to give it another shot here. You know, every time I come to this pond, I usually catch some fish, but I still kind of want to just figure out the place a bit more, spend a little more time here. This is usually a place that I come when I really don't have a whole lot of time to fish. Meaning that I haven't really, you know, fished, you know, way down here at this end very much. I usually tend to stick to the dam side, which is where I usually catch most of the fish. So today the goal is just to kind of explore this pond a little bit more than we have in the past. We're going to be using some light tackle today to try to target um, these fish. Kind of have, want to have like a multi-species approach. You know, I know this pond has chain pickerel and largemouth bass and bluegill and crappie. So it'd be great for, to run into, you know, if we ran into like three or four species today, that would be cool. I feel like I've been catching mostly bass lately. So um, anyway, you never know until you throw. So let's go. So this pond, it's just a little bit interesting. It's an interesting place for a couple of reasons. One, it's fairly clear water, which is not really the norm for a lot of the lakes around me. Um, so that kind of opens this place up, you know, makes it good for sort of like small baits, sort of finesse techniques. Uh, the other thing that's interesting about it is these floating little islands with kind of this grass on them. I guess they're sort of supposed to be a, a decorative thing primarily but um, it also provides cover for fish so it kind of gives you a lot of little targets to cast to um, when you're out here so you know there's a variety of techniques we could use today I'm seeing some small bluegill already kind of in the shallows here picking stuff off of the surface I've got two rods with me today I've got the ultralight and I've got the BFS set up as well. So that's going to be kind of our game plan today is to just see what's out here, throw around some smaller lures primarily, and see what we can catch. I'm going to start off with the ultralight. And what I've got rigged up here is this tiny little black and yellow like grub trailer thing. I think this was originally for like a beetle spin or something. And I've got that under a little float, a little bobber, about a foot and a half under. Um, the idea here is just, you know, I've caught some fish on this little thing last time, you know, just by itself without the float. But I think the float, you know, we're going to let it kind of suspend in front of these fish, fish it a little slower. Maybe we'll get a few more bites or some bigger fish. So let's see what we can do with this thing. see we've got this little island that we could kind of cast to. 
since I saw some fish kind of along the bank, I'm standing back. Oh, something yanked it under. I think it was just a little bluegill, but it's a good sign. Let him take it all the way this time. I don't think this place is very deep. Maybe seven or eight feet in the middle. So maybe we could, could lower the, bot, the bait a little bit, you know, two or three feet down. Oh. Definitely messing with it, but they must I think they're small fish. It looks like what I'm seeing going for them is pretty small. I need to take the bobber off, people. Uh, these fish are reacting like they, you know, have seen bait suspended under a bobber before and are being very careful about, you know, grabbing it. It's, you know, inspecting it closely, not getting the hook. So on the BFS setup, I have a new lure that I've been trying out. I went out to a pond last week and caught a few fish on it. This is kind of a unique lure. It's called the Thomas Whirlfish. It's one sixth of an ounce. It's kind of like an inline spinner, but instead of there being a separate blade, the whole body of the lure spins. See, it's got these two little fins on the bottom and that's kind of what helps it spin. Um, doesn't produce as much of like a pull or like a vibration doesn't move as much water as like a regular spinner But it's got you know plenty of flash Something that maybe you know the fish around here haven't seen before um, I've got this brass one and I've got a nickel one. I'm going to start with the brass And see if anything wants to eat this, you know, I've got had some luck here before on regular spinners, so Maybe this one will work too. There's a fish. First fish of the day. It looks like a crappy. If he'll stay on. All right, there we go. It's a black crappy on the Thomas Whirlfish. Got two trebles in the bottom jaw. He wasn't going anywhere. Not a huge fish, but it's not a terrible one either. Let's take a look at this guy. It's about a eight inch, maybe nine inch crappy. Black crappy. That's definitely the most common one around me. Look at those big old eyes these fish have pretty colors on them silvery with lots of black flecks and specks dark along the top large eyes kind of it seems like they're kind of the eyes on the crappy kind of range for feeding up like they kind of come up and grab something so this fish was probably near the bottom thanks bud appreciate you there he goes first fish of the day black crappy There's another one. It's a bluegill this time. All right, fish number two on the world fish. About a five inch bluegill. 
good colors on them. Hold on, buddy. I'm going to get you unhooked. Hold on, fish. These bluegill are, they can get kind of panicky when they're out of the water, which is understandable given the current predicament of this guy. And there's our bluegill. That's about a five inch fish, five and a half. That's about standard for this pond I found. We were casting over there where we got that crappie. So maybe there's like a few fish down there looking to feed. We're kind of casting to that, the corner of that grass island. Thank you, little guy. We appreciate you. Fish number two. Yeah, this world fish is not a bad little lure. You know, you have to, you want to use a um, snap swivel when you're fishing it because it will twist up your line quite easily, like other inline spinners will. But it's just like a slightly different look, and I think these fish are, you know, it's a it's a new new lure for them. And that's kind of why I got it, you know, this this company, Thomas, is more like a northeastern company. So most of the people around here are, aren't fishing with Thomas lures. Something grabbed at that time too, but they're just not getting it. There we go. Another little bluegill. Saw that one chase it down. Well, it's not as small as I thought. About the size of that first one. Let's get them unhooked. There we go. Catching some bluegill today. That's not too, not bad. Not bad at all. I think this is a female. Thank you, bud. Here we go. Another bluegill. Not a bad one either. It might be slightly bigger. It might be a six incher. Here we go. That's a nice one. That's a six incher all day. That's a beautiful fish. Even pull a little drag. Beautiful. Look at the colors. Look at the chest on that one. That deep kind of orange, almost rust color. And the blue on the face. Purple and green body. All right, thanks, bud. This is a nice fish. Maybe this uh, little grub is going to work out after all. Just got to be a little... Seems like you, yeah, you want to be pretty aggressive with it and then let it sink for a second and then keep it moving. So... Make a few more casts here. There's another bluegill over here. Got one. It's a crappy. All right, pretty fish. This one's dark. It's a dark fish. Dark crappy. Barely hooked. Let's let him get a look at this one, guys. This is almost definitely a male that's getting ready to spawn. See how the chest and the face are darker? It's a beautiful fish. Maybe an inch shorter than the first crappy we caught. Yeah, they're biting a little bit today. Yeah. Yeah, 
couple of small minnows too. You've caught on one small minnows in here? Not in here, but I, I know that that's one of the favorite baits is small minnows. Oh yeah. There's a fish. Oh man, better crappie. Catching a lot of crappie today. Man, that one actually gave a good gave a little fight on the ultralight. Yeah, this one has a little weight, a little heft to it, guys. It's not necessarily bigger, but it just seems a little healthier. A little stockier. Notice how this one doesn't really have those dark patches on the cheeks or on the chest there. So this is either a female or one that's not ready to spawn yet. I'll take a few crappy today. That one actually thumped it pretty hard too. Beautiful fish. Happy to catch a few crappy today. Thank you, bud. Make some nice long casts with this lure. Oh, might have had a nibble right there. There's a fish. Feels decent. Not huge, but decent. It's another crappie. All right. Seems like crappie is the species of the of the day here. Yeah, about a seven inch or similar to the others. All right, appreciate your fish. I was on a long cast. All right, people, we switched to the nickel finished world fish. The sun is out now. It's warmed up a bit. Curious to see if we can get another bite on it if we just switch colors. A bump. There we go. It's a bass. All right. Two more followed it in. That's not a bad bass. He just very lightly tapped it. Made that color switch. I think that might have been important. There's our third species as well. All right, buddy. We'll get you out of here. The old world fish, you know, it's a... Uh, seems like it's a decent lure. I might try to do a video kind of focusing more on it. It's so got a little bit of a grass uh, breading. But this is about a 12 inch bass. Followed it out from seemingly the middle of the lake. I think those fish were probably near the bottom. And hit the lure pretty close to the bank. Thank you, bass. This guy's got a little bit of a belly to him. Look at that, people. Healthy fish here. Good colors. Let's get him back in the water. All right, fish. Thank you for biting. Thank you for biting, bass. There he goes. Nice, people.
There's a fish. Another bass. Stay down, buddy. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, are you? All right. <laughs> Look at that one, people. That's a pretty fish. Uh, hold on, buddy. He hooked in the bottom jaw, so. So my camera kind of screwed up there, but we were able to release that fish successfully. There's a little pool under the spillway, or under the dam, where I think we might be able to catch one more species. There's a fish. Um, well, well. It's a new species, not what I was actually expecting to catch. But it's our four species of the day. Check them out, guys. There's a red breast sunfish. About four inches. All right, buddy. Thank you. Well, I think I just saw a small pickerel over here. But it saw us like immediately and took off into deeper water, but we might still be able to catch them here with a little luck. It wasn't a big one, it was probably only like nine inches, but that's kind of the point of tying on this crankbait is to see if we can catch a pickerel, so. That looked like a pickerel behind it. There's a fish. All right. Well, it's not the new species we were trying for, but we did catch a fish on the crankbait. It's actually probably, oh, ouch. One of our biggest bluegill of the day here. Let's check this guy out. This is not a bad fish. Probably a six incher. Pretty one, good colors. Let me get a quick picture of him. This place does, whoa, well, maybe not. Okay, now he still needs help. Oh, nope, there we go. All right, self-release. That works for me. Got a fish on the drop. I think it's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Another crappy. All right, well, maybe we won't switch. Just keeps on catching them. Pretty similar to the other ones. They're all more or less the same size in like that seven to nine inch range. They are definitely beautiful fish. They're not my favorite fish to catch necessarily because they don't really fight that hard. But it, they still feel decent, at least on the BFS. And it's kind of nice to run into them since we really don't catch a whole lot of crappy. So. All right, people. Well, we didn't get our chain pickle today. 
you know, that fifth species. But, you know, we still had a pretty good time out here at this little pond. Um, like I said before, I really want to try to come out here maybe a couple more times this year and just sort of, you know, mess around here. It seems like it's a pretty fun little fishery, you know, uh, multiple species out here, which is nice. You know, we caught bass, black crappie, bluegill, and red breast sunfish. And we know that there's chain pickerel. And, you know, there was, there's a warm mouth in here, too. Or at least in that little pool, um, you know, under the dam. But we weren't able to find those today. But still, nice little way to spend an afternoon, if you ask me. Uh, caught a good number of fish on light gear, which is always fun. You know, those, even those little bluegill and crappy and stuff can actually tug a little bit on like a light or ultralight rod so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're subscribed to the channel i just want to say that i appreciate you you are amazing if you aren't subscribed to the channel i suggest you go ahead and do so for weekly bank fishing content thanks for watching